Internal linking for your website or blog has never been easier than by using link vector. This is a pretty new tool I want to talk about in this video. Welcome back to Digital Toolcase. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, because today I will talk about links, internal linking. As you can see here, the only Google approved linking strategy. As you may know, there are many linking strategies and one of the oldest SEO tricks was getting links from other websites by paying them or by publishing guest posts. But lately, Google doesn't really like this kind of backlinks. So you need to get better at your internal linking because Google will never penalize you for internal linking. You can choose the anchor text you want. You can do pretty much whatever you want. But I know it's not so easy to manage internal linking, especially if you have a very large website or blog, or if you are not really an SEO expert. There are some WordPress plugins very famous, for example, Link Whisper or Link Boss are two of them. And as you can see here in this link vector website, you can also see the comparison between these tools. By the way, if you want, you can click the link in the description and try Link Vector by yourself. I will show you very quickly even the prices because it's a pretty cheap solution. And with the link vector, you can manage your internal linking automatically or by choosing yourself which links to have and which not. You can adjust your internal linking structure and other parts of your site. Anyway, let's go here very quickly at the pricing plans because I want to show you you have two different options, the monthly plans and the annual plans. At the moment, these are the prices for link vector this growth plan is the lowest one and I will say it's pretty much uh, perfect for many of you because if you don't have a website with more than 5,000 pages or more websites and the total is not above 5,000 pages, you can use this plan, this growth plan. These are the prices at the moment. And if you choose the annual plan, you can get three months for free. So this price will even go lower. Again, the link is in the description. If you want to use my link, thank you. You have pretty much all the futures with all these plans. This is one of the coolest one, the visual map. I will show you how it works, the link action, link insights, link utilities, and so on. If you want, you can take a look at this uh, long page uh, where you can understand why you need a good internal link strategy. This is not a WordPress plugin. And if I go here on this versus Link Whisper, for example, you can see one of the main differences is that Link Whisper is a WordPress plugin and Link Vector is not. It's a web-based application. The cost is less with Link Vector. And here you can see all the differences. At the moment, Link Vector only supports English. Now let's go inside the Link Vector. This is my dashboard. I connected my example, my test site, and I also have an example site here so I can show you even better how you can use link vector. It's really easy to use. First of all, here I have the total pages, the internal links and external links I have right now and the site health. If I click on my test site here, I can go into this link actions section. As you can see, I have some little issues. This is my score for the site health because I have one page with the links using HTTP. I can fix it it from here, but in this case, it's just my cookie policy, I suppose is one of the link included in my cookie policy in this case. Uh, then I have eight pages with no internal links. If I click on this fix issues, I can see it's uh, the about us page, the blog page, the contact us and so on. But I even have uh, some uh, articles. I then have three pages with low internal links and here they are. 
and then I have 23 pages with slow loading speed. This is something I can't fix directly here, as you can see, can't be resolved automatically, requires manual intervention, so I need to optimize my site speed in this case. Anyway, I have these site structure and technical SEO issues, I have content optimization, here for example it says I have one page with no meta description and so on, anchor text optimization, five pages have links with weirdly long anchor text, again if I click on fix issues I can see my anchor text and my links, and I also have a link ecosystem management with three issues. One page have high link density because obviously you need to correct link density. In this case, it's my HTML sitemap, so I think this is not a, really an issue. 20 links have the opportunity for deep linking. Again, I can go here and see all the details. I have my page, my outgoing links, the anchor text, and I can just fix by clicking this button. This will be automatically fixed on my website because it's connected. This is very cool and very useful. I can also go to this auto linking section. And here I have a list with all my pages and articles, the published data the page link score, the incoming links and outgoing links for each page with some action I can do from here. I also have some filters. On this blog I don't have pillar pages at the moment, but if you want you can filter by pillar pages or by orphan pages. These are the pages where you don't have any incoming link, broken pages, blog posts. So. These are my old blog posts with this filter, pages with less links and pages with excessive links. This is the listing section, but I want to show you one of the coolest features in uh, Link Vector. It's the visual map. You can see it by clicking here or by clicking here on the menu. So visual map and I can see my site uh, with these other visualization. Very, very, very useful, very cool because I can see my home page, I can see my categories, I can see my articles, I can see my structure and see if I need to do something, if I have orphan pages, for instance, and so on. Or I can choose to link some of my pages directly from here. This is very cool because, uh, as you can see, you have uh, different options. You can crawl up to five levels of depth on your uh, blog. You can choose if you want to see URL, slugs, or titles. You can choose if you want even orphan pages. I don't have uh, in this case. And if I double click on one of these articles, I can see the relation between this specific article and my other articles or pages. Now, my test site is quite small, but I want to show you this visual map on this other example site, very large site. You can see all your website uh, with this kind of visual map. You can double click here, for example, take a look at all these silo, all these uh, cluster of articles, the interlinking between them. And this is very, very cool because here you can see with your eyes if you can uh, optimize your interlinking, if you have some issues and so on. Let's go again to my test site. And I want to show you some of the actions you can do here from this listing section. So these are my articles by published date. What I can do with this article. If I click here, I have some details with one issue, the status code, the incoming link, outgoing link, uh, and so on. Uh, if I click here on these actions, I can do different things. Uh, one is uh, go to visual map. One is add link for the page and this is auto linking. So if I click on uh, add link for the page, this pop-up will open up. And as you can see, these are my included outgoing links. Uh, so these are the links I already have. And this is a suggestion. So 
Link vector is saying you could add this link with this anchor text, commercial fruit washes, to this other article. And I just need to click on this add link if I want. And as you can see now I have my confirmation and this link has been added. Very, very easy to use. This is for outgoing links, but you can also do it for incoming links. In this case, I don't have any new suggestion. I could also click on this uh, magic link button and uh, this is auto linking for this page. It's saying uh, I don't need to add any incoming links, but if I want, I can add uh, four outgoing links. I can choose if I want uh, incoming and outgoing if I have more than zero here and I just need to click on apply links and again it's applying links automatically by clicking this button. This is very, very useful. Links have been added. I can click on this go to visual map button and here it is. This is my article with all my links for this specific article. What if I want to connect different articles from here? Let's say I have a cluster of articles. I want to interlink them. I can also do it from here by choosing one of my articles and by choosing the other one. As you can see, I have an arrow here. If I click, again, I have some uh, suggestions here. So showing all link suggestions, I can select uh, these suggestions and add selected links from here. And again, just by clicking one button, I can add links. Uh, I can optimize my internal linking structure very, very easily between one article to another and so on. So this is my little articles cluster. What if I change the crawl depth level here? Let's say I want to see up to three levels and apply settings. And as you can see now, I can see the relation up to three levels between my articles and pages. You can go very deep. You can have a very, very good perspective of uh, how your articles are interlinked and optimize them. I really like this visual map uh, future. Let's go now to link insights site overview. I can have a graphic chart of uh, all my important metrics here with internal linking distribution, page distribution, and again, the crawl depth, uh, internal link uh, versus external link and so on. I can see my domains. Uh, these are all the external domains I'm linking to on my website. And I can also see my anchor text. I can group by target URL. I can uh, filter by whatever I want here. And uh, here are my anchor text. Uh, so this is very useful to take a look at your site anchor text. By clicking here, you can see some details. You can even remove your links from here. Then you have your link utilities with a link replacement. This feature is useful if you want to search and replace links or anchor text. If you have a very large site, you need to change many links at one time. Maybe you have some 404 uh, issues uh, with uh, linking. Maybe you want to change some specific anchor text uh, in bulk. You can replace obsolete, redirected, broken internal, external links very easily with this feature. You just need to click on this uh, start first replacement. You can search by URL. You can replace a specific anchor text and so on. And you also can create link rules. This is very, very very useful if you want to automate your interlinking structure because you can easily manage and insert links using link rule, automatically apply link rules to new content when you publish it, get suggestion for specific pages to apply rules, and track all applied rules in a convenient table for easy reference. Let's say I want to create a rule for essential oil. I can choose if I want an exact match, contains, starts with, ends with, or you can even generate custom regular expressions here. So imagine you have a pillar page where you maybe have the best essential oils. So you want to point to this page 
whenever you write a new article and you write uh, these uh, specific words into your new article, then here you can include your page. Let's pretend I have this uh, specific page. So each time I will use these uh, words into my new articles, uh, an automatic link will be created pointing to this specific page. I can choose to apply this to specific uh, paths uh, on my website or on all pages and I just need to create a link rule. And here it is. You can also generate this rule and then apply it to your existing content. I will not do it now because I don't have this specific page, but it's just to show you one of the best uses of automatic link rules. So this really automates your internal linking for specific pillar pages. And it's very, very useful because when you publish your article, you will automate this process using a link vector. Very, very cool. And again, you have your link history here. So you can see whatever change you have made to your website and in the project settings you can choose different settings exclude some pages some paths or your analysis settings and so on it's really easy to use link vector but if you don't understand some of these features they have a really really good youtube channel where you can find the tutorials and the way to use it for each single future as you can see you have uh, uh, quite a few videos here and these videos are very very well done so i like the fact that they explain you how to use all the futures into link vector and this is another reason why i really like link vector i think it's one of the best solutions you can find on the market and they also give you an opportunity because here on the home page as you can see you can earn a free plan if you refer to some people this basic plan the lowest one so you may be able to have it for free but anyway these are the prices for link vector these are the monthly prices these are the annual plan prices you have a 30-day money-back guarantee it's a very easy to use very fast tool so i highly suggest you to try it out if you want to optimize your internal link structure on your website or more than one website because you can connect even more than one as you can see here unlimited domains all cms are supported 36 features up to 5000 pages in this case or if you need more you have these higher plans so that's it this is a link vector i hope you enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful for you if so Click on the like button and subscribe to my channel because maybe I will do other videos about uh, Link Vector. Thank you very much for being here until now. You can click here if you want to watch for my other contents. And as always, I'll see you soon in the next video.